Hey everyone, in today's video I'm going to be explaining how Hashimoto's causes acne and what you should do about it. So let's get into it. All right, so we already kind of know what Hashimoto's is, right? It's an autoimmune thyroid condition. It's the most common cause of hypothyroidism in America. And the way that it causes acne is kind of twofold. One is it can increase your insulin resistance and make you gain weight. And secondarily, it is inflammatory. There's some pretty good research that's come out recently, and I'll link to it, looking at the severity of acne and the risk of acne in people that were insulin resistant, obese, had Hashimoto's without hypothyroidism, or had Hashimoto's and hypothyroidism. And here's what they found. The more those four things you have, insulin resistant, obesity, Hashimoto's, meaning you have elevated antibodies, or outright hypothyroidism, the more likely you were to have severe acne. And the connection is so strong that the researchers say that those might actually be causes of acne, which is a little bit different because if you look at what the general knowledge is about acne, people think that things like chocolate cause it and greasy food, and that's just not true, or having unclean skin, that's not true. Basically, physiologically speaking, uh, the main factors for causing acne at a cellular level are increased uh, oil production from the glands, uh, some inflammation, uh, some bacterial uh, interplay, and the things that can trigger acne are things like uh, androgens, like you get in puberty, uh, certain drugs like steroids and lithium, but even high carbohydrate diets can do it, and stress can certainly promote it. So saying and finding out that Hashimoto's has a big role to play in acne. That's pretty uh, groundbreaking, <laughs> I think. And I certainly have seen it in my patients because you can have acne at any age. And what the research says very clearly is if you're insulin resistant, you are obese, or you have Hashimoto's without hypothyroidism or overt hypothyroidism, uh, that leads and has a very, very good, uh, has a very strong connection to developing acne. So insulin resistance is when your body sort of is not responding to insulin signal. Insulin is basically knocking on the door of your cell saying, hey, let, let's get some glucose out of the bloodstream and into the tissues. If that doesn't happen, that's in, insulin resistance. And insulin resistance is kind of on a spectrum. It can be mild or it can eventually lead to outright diabetes. Now, symptoms of insulin resistance are things like, uh, classically, getting sleepy, tired, drowsy, you know, 15 to 30 minutes after you eat, uh, people that really crave sugar after they eat. Uh, there can also be some other uh, like neuropathic symptoms if it gets really bad. But insulin resistance is something you can get at any age. In fact, kids are getting it at an alarming rate. And what fuels that? Well, if you eat crap and eat a lot of sugar and don't exercise, that can certainly fuel insulin resistance. But when you are hypothyroid, and Hashimoto's is the number one cause of that, it slows down your metabolism. And that makes you really prone not only to weight gain, meaning you can become obese, but also insulin uh, resistant. Now, the thing to know about thyroid problems like Hashimoto's are is that there's essentially uh, two kinds of it, right? You can have a quantity problem, meaning the Hashimoto's makes it hard for you to make thyroid hormones. You become hypothyroid, so you have to take them. But it also creates a different type of problem called a usage problem. And a usage problem means that in your cells, the thyroid hormone receptors that are waiting there, waiting like a dock and waiting for the, the T4 to come by, they can become insensitive themselves or become blocked. And so what happens in that situation is you have normal looking blood work, like your TSH looks good, you might be taking levothyroxine, but you don't function like that. So Hashimoto's is a, <laughs> it's, it's a real problem, right? Most common cause of hypothyroidism, it's inflammatory, it's an autoimmune problem, it can create insulin resistance, it can create weight gain to make you obese, and it is inflammatory. So all those things together, the research is showing, the more of those you have, the more likely you're going to have severe acne. So what should you do about that? Well, let's take it this direction. If you already have severe acne and it's not responding, I would suggest you get evaluated for insulin resistance the correct way. How do you do that? Well, hemoglobin A1C is a blood test, but also some of the symptoms uh, I was mentioning earlier. I would make sure that you are evaluated for Hashimoto's because you can have euthyroid Hashimoto's where you have elevated thyroid antibodies, but the TSH and T4 are normal, or you could have outright hypothyroidism caused by Hashimoto's, where you've got the antibodies that are positive, TPO or, or thyroglobulin, 
uh, and the TSH is high and the T4 is low, or you could have hypothyroidism that's not Hashimoto's. Now, the odds are not good that you're going to have a non Hashimoto's hypothyroidism because the most common cause of hypothyroidism is Hashimoto's, right? So you got to get checked for Hashimoto's. You got to get those thyroid antibodies checked and you have to have the correct thyroid function test done, right? Now, if I were you, I would make sure I was working with someone that already understood all that stuff <laughs> because if we find out that you're insulin resistant, we have to find out why, right? Is it your diet? Is it your activity level? Uh, is it inflammation from something else that's making you insulin resistant? So very quickly, it spider webs out, right? It's not just as simple as saying, oh, I have insulin resistance. Well, what are you going to do about it? Same thing with Hashimoto's. If you have Hashimoto's and you have hypothyroidism, well, you may need to take thyroid medication, but for a large number of people that have Hashimoto's and have hypothyroidism from it, uh, taking the medication is not enough. And those are, of course, the people that make their way to me. And so I guess my point is, is if you have severe acne, you need to get evaluated for all those things. Get evaluated for them correctly by someone who knows what tests to order, <laughs> how to interpret them, you know, and what do we do about it? How, how do we treat that, right? Well, if you are insulin resistant, you are and you have Hashimoto's, uh, if you want to decrease your risk of developing acne, you've got to do a couple things, right? You've got to get your weight under control, you've got to get your blood sugar under control, and you've got to get your immune system under control. And there's a lot of different ways to do that. There is no like little cookie cutter cookbook way to do that, but you've got to be working with someone that knows those. So for example, uh, me, uh, I'm looking at, there's 10 different ways you can control someone's blood sugar once you know what it is. There's nutrient things you can do, there's exercise, there's diet. And with the immune system, I like to look at uh, uh, lymphocyte immunophenotyping, which you guys have heard me talk about a lot, because that lets us kind of find out what is your immune system fingerprint, like what is happening. Sometimes I'll do multiple tissue uh, antibody testing to see if, if there's other autoimmune things going on. Being obese, insulin resistant, Hashimoto's, or outright hypothyroidism, huge factors for acne. So make sure you're working with someone that knows how to uh, either A, prevent that stuff, or B, if you already have acne, you get it checked for it. So make sure you're working with someone that knows how to test for it and follow up and get you treated correctly. And I hope you found this helpful today. Okay, I'll see you next time.